We've been warning this for several months now in our daily global insights that the way the Black Lives Matter movement got hijacked, became woke, became all sorts of things, including a movement called Defund Police, where a hatred towards the police departments across the country was fueled and it became something that went out of control. On New Year's Eve, an individual by the name of Trevor Bickford, 19 year olds from upstate Maine in a city called Wells, had come down to Times Square, New York had a machete. I'm going to show you the machete. You can see it down at the bottom. About a foot and a half long, he starts attacking policemen. Two were hurt and both in their head. One suffered a fractured skull. The other one has a deep gash. Both are being treated. This was, you know, Times Square is, is a loosely defined term. 42nd Street and 7th Avenue and in there about. I'm going to show you a map and you can get all these things in the description, by the way, of links to know a little bit more about this case. So what happened was that he traveled to New York on an Amtrak train of all things on the 29th of December and he was staying at a place which is sort of like, you know, for camping gear, people who transit people. And, and then his he carries a last will and a testament saying that you should pray for Allah and so on and so forth. Now, there are two officers on the Times Square around the 42nd Street, and that's where he first hit. And then what happens is the person, you know, he just goes up to the cop without any warning. I mean, you, you're talking about thousands of people gathered in Times Square to look at the dropping of the ball and the ushering of the new year. And what happens is that this guy just takes this machete called as a Gorkha, Gurkha. Um, I, I don't know the name. I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong. And it just starts, you know, wielding it left and right. This is the kind of violence that people get into. These are all, I, I think, we're looking into these silos where information gets amplified and somebody just gets whipped up in frenzy and then starts doing things that they normally wouldn't do. Take a look at his picture. He looked such a regular kid, does fishing. There are lots of pictures of his in the three links that I'm going to provide to you. You can take a look. Looks like a regular kid, you know, drives a car, very smart, very good at education. You know, he has done well in his studies. And yet, suddenly, they just go out of handle. What happens then? I'm showing you a map here of uh, Times Square, and you can see that right at down the 42nd Street is where he attacks the first set of cops. Then he goes up to the 51st Street, nine streets up, and 8th Avenue to the left. And there he starts attacking again. And one cop there shot at his left shoulder injured him and that's how they got him under control so everybody's now in the hospital the, the policeman got hurt as well as the attacker the point i'm trying to make here is why is it why is it that all these things happen to be only associated with one religion even as i speak there has been a terrible accident in Jammu area where three Hindu houses were targeted by terrorists and three people have died and uh, several have been injured. We knew that every time there is a new scoundrel who becomes the army general in Pakistan, they want to show, here is the new guy, I shall show you my signature. We, one terrorist incident was thwarted, but there were going to be more and there was one yesterday. It's happening even as we speak just a few hours ago and the data is still uh, being collected. No one has claimed any responsibility on this. What's going on with this world? Why do people have to have these kind of a violent feelings inside? What did the poor policemen do? All they were there was to try and maintain order in case somebody gets tipsy and drunk and or some scuffles break out just walk up to them with a machete and start wielding it what has this world come to very very sad to see and say that these kinds of things are happening i i think the world re really needs a reset something needs to be done to make sure that these social media platforms don't run away with um, you know the hate for specific communities everybody's the same we're all human beings 
and uh, that's something that's important that needs i can't stress enough about the fact that in this world we are human beings first then we are something else something else after that and everyone has a right to live thanks for watching please like share and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications namaskar